I mean, what's your what's your best way that you your favorite way of doing it? My favorite way of installing it would uh -huh. be the bars because you always know where you're at mm -hmm. and you know how many wines you're giving this spring. Right. But this is automatic yeah. and it's spinning faster than when you would do it manually. So you get a feel because you know how many turns it takes, but you don't really know the tension. You don't really get a feel. You don't get a feel of the tension of because the that tension, takes it out. Because that takes it out. Okay, cool. I mean, you do it the way you want to do it. You yeah. know, I don't want you to use a tool just no, to use it. No, but to, to take it off, it saves me time and it's safer also. So I'll just take okay, it off cool. the tool for you. And I see you're changing the right. ratchet. This was the half inch socket. Okay. We're changing it back. We're changing to a 916 so that it could fit into this oh. and spin the gear. Now see I see. Yeah, the gear is spinning. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you always want to use a hammer drill or a regular drill, not an impact. Yeah. And you got the torque at what? Yeah. Oh, just regular drill and then one or two just to the speed is one or two just to um depending on what you're doing really and on the springs i like to use two to release and starting to wind the springs uh -huh. i like to go slow at one okay just for it not to skip anything and overwind it you always want to be on the outside uh -huh. of the spring just in case any part of the spring wants to pop or break or you lose your uh, grip on the bar uh -huh. or whatever you're using so that you're away from the impact. Okay. So I should get way back here. No, you're fine. Okay. So this it goes into the tube just like a bar would. And uh -huh. we do the same at the top. Oh, interesting. Yeah. When you set that in there, that fits inside of it. And then you get that locked in. Lock it up. Then, and then you put the drill on the top of it. Yep, but you also have to remember there is tension on the Surewinder right now. Right. So you want to hold, get a good grip on the Surewinder uh -huh. and loosen up the screw just like you would if, it, if you had a bar on. Uh -huh. So now the first screw is loose, like I was saying. Uh -huh. It's always two, but one. The other one is for safety measures. Uh huh. But it's kind of it's, loose now, right? Yeah, it's kind of loose. But, but will just, it pop? No, it's not hot. See, it's still loose. The machine is still loose in my hand, so you're really not getting any pressure right now. Uh huh. Like I said before, it's two screws. One screw actually tightens it up, and the second screw makes sure it doesn't slip. Now you're gonna see the sure winder move as soon as I take that last screw. Up. See that? Yeah. So move down. Yep. And then you just crank that and that's taking the tension out of it. I'm taking the screw out. Oh, it's the screw out, okay. Yep. And then now I'm taking the tension off the spring okay. by unwinding it. So you put your gun in reverse, put it on top of that 916 bolt right there, uh -huh. and reverse the opposite way while lifting up. Oh yeah, I see it spinning. How many spins do you need to go? This is a seven foot door, about 28. I mean, oh. seven spins with this, but manually 28, because you have to go in each hole with the ball. Ah, okay. So with this tool, it makes it easier because you only have to spin this about seven times. All right. So basically you're counting at each revolution that that makes. I'm sorry? That's, so you're counting like one every time it does that revolution? Yes. When I'm when I'm tensioning, when I'm loosening the spring, I don't really have to. You don't have to. Because the Surewinder will tell me, because it's gonna be, there will be no tension once it's loose, once there's right. no more tension on the spring. That's it. That's it. Okay. And also a little cheat sheet too. You can see all the words. You remember how before it was a little twist it? Yeah. yeah. Now you can see all the words. Now so you know it's fully loose, no tension on the spring. So when you see the like a sentence in a line. Yep. All right, cool. And There's then no to get tension. this thing off, you just first you take off your sure winder. And then you, you pull out that little yep. piece. So how did that thing fit in there? Oh. 
Let me show you right here. So on the spring, it goes in here. Uh, I'll show you. It goes in here. Whoops. It goes in here just like this. Okay, yeah. Right? You get one in the hole, and you go with your other piece right here on the top. And it sits, you push this back right right here. Uh, there's no tube, so it's going to be a little difficult, but it sits just like that. Yeah. And okay, you lock it. it up. Right, so they get, and then you lock it here. Yep, so it doesn't slip out. Okay, I see. Sweet. Set those over there. Now we got to get these things off. 